Aries, my Aries. Um, so I had to muster up some uh, energy for these um, shadow readings. So we're going to be doing the shadow reading for Aries. Um, again, these can be triggering, but so if you don't want to watch them, please just like click off right now. Um, but I do think it's very important that we um, tap into our shadows and heal them, you know, figure out where they're coming from so we can get back on that path of our higher self and our mission and all that because, you know, denying them or burying them, all it's going to do is keep coming back up. We get triggered and, and bringing up all those, you know, fears and blocks and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it if you're still in here ready to go. So first card we have is a skill. So we have expressing your highest nature through your work is sometimes easiest when work is not exactly as you wish it to be. There are hidden gifts within friction. Therein lies the secret way to graceful life. You are not what you do. Your work is a higher higher mirror, providing a reflection from which to learn in the evolutionary process. When work becomes higher skill and you begin to fine tune not only your physical self, but your spirit, a Zen garden expresses the essence of life and a highly perfected skill. Come to the inner truth that produces your true skill. So I'm getting uh, a lot of energy, like you might be at a job that you don't like, so you're not kind of like completely there or you're dissatisfied. Um, oh, let me show you this card too. This is the card. Um, <clears throat> You know, you just want to get on that mission and what you're here to do and what you enjoy and things like that. But in order to make a living, sometimes we have to do the things we don't want to do. So um, what I think is being said is like to face that fear because it might put, you know, like you sabotaging yourself, not working, calling out, you know, being sick. If, what, what I think is being said here is or what I'm getting the message of is to, you know, face that and deal with it right now and really look for... Um, the opportunity to learn things, um, even the triggering things, because that could be awakening you more. And you might be connecting to uh, people that you aren't aligned with um, to be able to deal with those things. So I think it, it, it could be a beneficial thing, just kind of like trusting in that path and going along with it for now, because you are expanding. You, we already heard that you have a higher mission, maybe a double mission for some of you. So right now, this is some learning experience that you're going through. It, it could even be something learning about yourself. So let's see what else is coming out. And now we have vampire. Okay, so the uh, light attributes makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So, you know, this is being aware that, you know, there's energy around you that could be sucking you dry. And, you know, stepping away from that. The shadow attributes could be depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining, and codependency. So, um, take a look. Like, are you complaining a lot? Like, maybe this situation with this job or career that you're doing. Are you complaining a lot? Are you, like, draining other people by sitting there complaining or, or um, revealing a lot of stuff to them? So, really look at that. Because if you're, like, Aries sometimes... Be honest we get focused on ourselves because aries is number the one first sign and it's all about self it is i am it's the uh mantra so you know really look maybe you are not no maybe you're not even aware but you could be spewing some stuff on other people and draining them or this could be you're allowing other people to drain your energy so there's some kind of vampire energy here now let's see what the tarot cards are okay yeah this is a burden now whether it's you or the other person, it's a burden. Like it's a burden to you, I think. So this is your reading. So either people draining you, this vampire energy. And I, you know what I'm getting for a lot of this? Is someplace you work or something like that, there could be a lot of energy vampires there. Maybe you're just not in alignment with that place. Maybe it's time to look for another job, you know? Until you can start your mission, you know? Sometimes we have to work full time at some place we might not be crazy about just for the money and pay bills. Um, and it can be draining and maybe it's affecting this mission of yours because it's just sucking the life out of you. So it's become a burden now. So maybe you can try to, maybe you can do half and half, work uh, less hours and do your mission on the side. Or maybe you can um, find something else that you're, you know, can fit in better without any vampires. Also, I'm actually getting to that you need to put up some kind of protection where, you know, carry crystals around with you, do some kind of uh, meditation. Um, you know, just pretend or imagine that you have this light around you that's like a, a cloak or a barrier to keep you, that negative energy out, okay? And don't react because that just causes more. Let's see what else is coming out. 
So now we have the five of wands. This is all about disagreements, competition, and conflict. So again, I think it's this vampire energy. Whoever's around you might be causing you a lot of burden and uh, disagreements and conflict. And I'm getting it's at work. It's at a career. And it's really just draining your energy right now. And it might be keeping you off your path because the more you're drained, you can't focus on that path. So it might be time to maybe try to find another job or see if you can do a part-time until you get something else. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, cutting cutting that out. Cutting all that bull out, right? You know, living in your truth, cutting all that out. Seeing this, taking off the mask and seeing this for what it is and getting out of it, okay? All right, let's see what else is coming up. But this really could be affecting your, you know, triggering you and things, bringing up those fears that you have, you know, that you don't fit in or something like that. You're not good enough, uh, whatever it is. So then we have mystery. Uh, sh let's look at the picture first. Okay, so it says, a shaman can teach you about power. A magician can train you to become strong in spirit and competent in your endeavors in life. But to describe how a miracle happens or how you come to the powerful magician is to try to explain the mystery. You can talk about the secrets of power, but if you describe them directly, you lose that power and destroy your mystery. Welcome to the mystery and allow the miracle of existence to emerge from the darkness to transform you. So this is kind of like trusting the path and, and realizing you're not going to know everything and being comfortable with that. You're not going to be shown everything. You're not going to know everything. Um, you just got to be comfortable with that and just kind of go with the flow. So it might be uh, like a trigger to you that you don't you can't control things or you don't know what's happening. So this could really trigger something within you, some kind of fear or afraid to move forward because of you might be afraid you'll fail or something like that or the unexpected. Now we have goddess so and whatever this mystery is that might be keeping you blocked or not moving forward um you know tap into this goddess the light attribute side of it but it could be um affecting the, the goddess within or your feminine um self in this shadow attribute it says exploitation exploitation of the female nature and form so if there's some kind of mystery here um uh, take a look at if you're trying to like um use your femininity to get your way or seduce the situation or something like that batting your eyes you know you know what i mean right so the, the light the shadow attribute like i said is the exploitation of the female nature and form and then the goddess is the light attribute the feminine expressed through wisdom nature nurture life nature life force and sensuality so you know standing in that goddess power you know and it might be too getting here with this there could be a situation maybe um you had a relationship or were connected to somebody at work and some other female or another person kind of moved in on your territory and maybe it made you feel like you were rejected or not good enough or something like that and that could have triggered a whole snowball of a situation so you know just know that whatever it is it's it's making you learn lessons it's bringing up these issues within so you can um, raise your vibration and heal them and step into this goddess power okay so let's see what else is coming up okay so now we have the ten of presence this is the ten of pentacles yeah because you want that abundance in your material world so you need to clear all that out because if you have any baggage or remnants from things like that it's hard to achieve this ten of pentacles and then we have the king the king of presence this is the king of pentacles again somebody that's stable secure grounded this is what you want to get to you want to get to Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. And then we have the Ace of Needles. Yes, and have that clarity. This is the Ace of Swords. Have that mental clarity to know what you're going to go after. So once you clear all this up, there was like a, maybe a little remnants of abandonment issues or self-worth. And now maybe all this is teaching you that, you know, hey, I'm worth this stuff and, and, and I do deserve it. And so you're moving into this clarity. So just that stuff there, you need to just clear it out a little bit. Let's see what else is coming up for your Aries. Okay, we have Ubunta, compassion for others. Yes, and stay compassionate for others. You know, don't try to try to be too judgmental or want revenge or anything on that. Um, you know, just walk away, forgive for your own self mostly. It doesn't mean you have to interact with those people again. Speak your truth if you have. If, if they don't give you closure, close it for yourself. Forgive, move on, right? So have that compassion, and especially for yourself, okay? What's that, Ivana? What's her lady, that lady, Van Zandt? She always says, when you know better, you do better. So this is you knowing better, right? So healing, forgiving, moving on. 
And then we have movement. Yep, see, moving on. This is moving forward on your path. Don't let this boggle you down. You keep moving forward, okay? Pleasure, waning, give you this moon. Yeah, because you want to be feeling good. You don't want all this stuff here, right? You don't want that vampire draining you and all that energy like that or those fears that you hold inside or you're not feeling worthy. You want pleasure. So you've got to heal all that so you can move towards that Ten of Pentacles, your financial abundance, your uh, abundance in your material world, and pleasure. And then we have blinded to pain. Yeah, so don't bury it. You know, it's not going to go away. You know, don't say, hey, I'm tough. I'm an Aries. I can deal. Yeah, we already know you're strong, but it's not going to, it doesn't matter. Like if you show a little bit of vulnerability and clear this up, okay? It's okay to cry once in a while, you know, then you just like learn from the lesson, pick yourself up and get back out there. And if anybody, one of the best signs for resilience is Aries, you know, they get hurt, they get crushed. You know, they, they go down a little bit, but you know what? They brush themselves up and they're back out there again, right? They don't keep letting anything keep them down for long. And then we have, oops, we have spell, manifestation. Yeah, because you're gonna, this is what you need to do. You gotta get into this manifestation stage. You have a lot of magic and manifestation abilities around you. And you don't want anything holding you down or like um, setting you off track a little bit by that like extra emotions or, or fears or, or blockages or anything like that. You wanna go towards whatever this 10 of Pentacles is, your pleasure, your abundance, your new path of, on your mission. So um, it's time to manifest. So you're just needing to, our spirit's asking you to just clear up those little bit of remnants left over. And it's, and, and it's just been triggered by some, maybe things at work or something, or people around you, your coworkers or something. Now we have this card. This card is actually um, the Santa Murta deck, and it um, doesn't have words on it, so i got to pull out the book. But just take a look at this picture and see if it brings up any thoughts or anything in your intuition. Let's see if I can find that book somewhere. Where did I get with that book? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me put this down for a minute. It's number two. Okay, so this number two... It's the masculine, which is interesting because we just had a goddess. So this first active dynamic and creative impulse that emerges from the darkness. Yeah, see, this this makes sense to me because Aries, the first thing we want to do, we use anger a lot of times for because we're hurt, you know. Yes, we do. <laughs> we get hurt and then we want to be act like we're strong and we're like, then we get kind of pissed off and we just like, wow, charge forth. And we also, we don't like people taking advantage of other people like the underdog so you know we step into our masculine a lot Aries is a masculine sign so so it says this second card is no less than the fundamental force of the universe the first push for, towards the outside a channel of passions both stimulating and vital the desire to become and to evolve this desire however, however cannot be satisfied because the energy much like fuel outside the combustion chamber is not yet structured disciplined and stable Advice from the dead, your abilities are at their peak, but you need to focus better on your objectives. Perhaps asking for advice from a masculine or paternal figure. So you might be getting advice from a um, masculine um, or from your masculine side. I think also too with that goddess coming through that you need to stay balanced. You can't be all aggressive, you know. You, you can be assertive, but not aggressive. So stand in the divine masculine as well as the divine feminine side. All right, last two cards here, Aries. Let's see. So we have this card here, and let's see what it says. This says, An enchanted world is available to you if you want it. Just as the oak tree is hidden in its seed, the god goddess, oh, let's look at that, the goddess, is within you. Reason devoid of feeling is merely harsh judgment. So listen to your heart and move beyond the boundaries you have placed around yourself. It's time to step into your power and create a world of bliss. Yeah, see the, the boundaries you placed on yourself? So I'm really getting, you know, instead of acting from that anger or that aggression, to balance things out and really tap into your intuition because that is going to be way more beneficial to you, okay? So let's see what this card is. Another, It's another picture card. So take a look at this one. See if there's any feelings or thoughts you get from it. Let me see if I can find this book on this one. Where is it? Okay. Number 17, we're going to get the card. Oh, wow. This is just a perfect ending. This is empowerment. 
This card shows a gentle yet powerful opening and energy flow of the third chakra, the power center, through your own willingness to stand tall and be all who you want and what you are meant to be. You naturally vibrate a dynamic energy that has a positive and empowering effect on others. Through your own acts of self-kindness and self-love, you have given yourself permission to shine a gentle and loving strength. This is exactly what the world needs right now. You are giving the gift of self-empowerment to everyone you meet. Yes. See? I love that. So, you know, there's so much power in being gentle and compassionate. So don't think you have to, like, be aggressive to be powerful. This is where your true strength stands. And also, the third chakra, I would say, you know, maybe do some... Uh, work on that to empower yourself more. Um, let's see, the, the first one is root. Is that, the, I think that is the solar plexus chakra. So yeah, make do some work on that. That's like where your empowerment is. You know, um, burn some uh, oils that are based on the solar plexus. Um, yellow crystals, like that citrine and all that you might want to carry around. So step into your power now. You're, you know, balance that energy out. Step into your inner goddess. That's where your, your true strength is. And you're helping to empower other people as well. So that's your message, Aries. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful Saturday. Take care. Bye.